This is the Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today we are going to talk about Pega PRPC. So what is Pega? Why people are want to learn Pega? What actually makes it Pega as a tool for actually different uh, company, different people, why they are looking to go for Pega? For your point of view, you want to actually like look for uh, to learn Pega to enhance your job when you want to get some better clarity, better job security, better high package. But why company are going for Pega as a solution? Let's see, we can see that out. So Pega provide a lot of features, okay? Uh, it can be used as a BPM product, it can be used as a CRM project, or it can be used as a business rule engine. So there are different ways we can use as a Pega, BPM, CRM, BRE, as actually the name business process management, customer relationship management, or business rule engines. And apart from that, it provides different features like analytics, integrations, case management, and the actually platform wise also, it's available in mobile, it's available in cloud, it's available in uh, laptop, laptop, desktops as well. And the features wise, analytics, decision making, marketing, sales, and supply chain, government agency, there are if you name of the actually any domain, Pega is present in that. They have worldwide more than 3,000 customers. So they all are looking, actually they have no actually the Pega capabilities and going forward for that. So what's actually other feature it makes the Pega? So Pega is nothing but is a Java based application where uh, you get uh, multiple things, right? Actually the different features which I've already told. The main benefit which we are going to use Pega is Pega doesn't need any coding, doesn't need any technical experience that wants to start learning Pega. So if there is no coding, actually like if you say 70 to 80 percent are automation, you just need to fill the form to get things work. So there is less chances of error. Uh, if there is less chances of errors, the code quality, build time is less. And that makes uh, the time to market is less and the company are looking for that, right? So most of the company are wants to develop their product actually in uh, less time and wants to develop that product so that it will be easily available to the market in less time. So the return of investment for them will be better. So all that capability and the features makes Pega as a competitive product across the globe. So you can see Pega is present across the industry. It's present in most of the banks, uh, healthcare plans, insurance companies, communication service provider, credit cards, payments, healthcare, supply chain, manufacturing, governments. So they are the name of the few. So it's you can see that name of the cust uh, clients which they are available. So it represents the top names across the world. So before going into that, we should know about little history about the Pega. So Pega has started as a company in 1983 as a middleware company. They did not start themselves as a BPM company. So initially they are mainly doing the uh, middleware. They are helping the uh, like big players like MX, to their middleware things, to message transmissions and other parts. And uh, in 1990, they started a team to form some with the, some of the BPM experts to foundation of Pega. And they initially faced a lot of financial crunch as well. And during that time, actually, they got some uh, criminal investigations on their company as well. But they survived and actually they gradually moved with the flow. And in 1996, they go on public. They registered themselves as company as Pega in NASDAQ. And in 2001, actually they officially released that Pega as a BPM product. And after that, uh, 
there are a lot of versions came into the market uh, Pega 3, Pega 4, 5, 6 and if you can see Pega 6 came around 2010 and then Pega 7 came at the early end of uh, 2013 and early 2014 and Pega 7 is actually like uh, is a game changer for again for uh, Pega actually they provide a lot of new features as compared to Pega 6.3, there is complete revamp of the UI with the HTML5 and CSS3, and uh, there is dynamic case management, and they have included uh, mobile cloud as well with Pega 7 only. So the latest version is now 7.2.2, which is released uh, recently. So. Apart from actually like they go grown organically, they have grown uh, other ways as well. Like they go for Codient, they go for Antenna software, they acquired Profitable Corporation for MeshLab for analytics. They have acquired a company called Firefly for a feature called as co-browsing. And again, actually they acquired a company called as OpenSpan in April 2016. So that company is actually, I think, actually again will be a uh, another changer for market. So what the feature is is about robotics and automation. So they actually wants to uh, automate the low end jobs. So that might actually again will be a game changer for for them. So they are the number one in the BPM and number five in the CRM segment. So. Apart from that, Pega, there are other competitors in the market which are actually actually uh, growing with the Pega. But Pega is actually from the Gartner, you can see they are the top leader. So Oracle BPM, Tipco, Cordius, Samian, K360, APN, Lombard is from IBM, are the different other products which is available in the market for the BPM. And for CPRM, uh, CRM point of view, you have Salesforce, Tab CRM, Oracle CRM, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, which is available for uh, CRM product. Salesforce is the leader onto the CRM front point of view. So when uh, so how does Pega do the uh, BPM product feature? So every feature uh, of Pega actually like can be uh, there is a concept called as six R's. Okay. So what is the six R's? Is receive, route, report, respond, research, and resolve. So what is actually that uh, the six R's? So if you take an, an example, so if you have to go to an hospital, right? So if you go to an hospital, you are not feeling well, okay? So first they need to give your personal details, your medical history, your symptoms, right? You need to provide the details to them. Then they will going to, uh, based on your uh, symptoms, they may ask you for some, go for uh, some basic test, like blood test or uh, sugar test like that. So they will ask you for basic test uh, and there's a need required, so they will give you some general doctors, general to check the basic things from your end. And once uh, that is done, actually like uh, reporting is ongoing one. So it's like uh, how the your case is going on, you are feeling that so. Uh, so the normally work progress, we can show with the reporting. And based on that, actually someone will respond to you, they will prescribe you the medicines and all that thing. And finally like uh, you have research, so based on that, actually someone will take the decisions, analytics, how the uh, medicine is uh, following on you, on, on you. So if you are feeling well, so that will be continue with that. If you're not uh, feeling well with the, the medicine prescribed, that might change based on the research on that. And finally, like once you're feeling well, your case will be resolved. So that's actually like any uh, typical example, we can convert any, any scenario to this six hours of Pega.
So this is again another example where we have uh, given the uh, HR recruitment. So we have say uh, we so in that case actually another example where the we are going to do a interview scenario. So we have a candidate. His we need to collect his information. Then we'll do the screening for him. And once the screening is done, we are going to do the schedule the interview, conduct the interview, and once actually then uh, we are going to do the background verification for him. Once background verification is done, we are actually if it's everything is good, we are going to uh, determine the compensation and finally release the offer for them. And then we need to wait for him to join the organization. So there are different ways uh, we need to handle a case in Pega. To support that, Pega provide different rules. Okay, so you can see Pega has different rules category within that to support the your BPM and CRM part of it. So the process consists of the workflow, user interface, the look and feel of the users, logic and decisions like the validation, how we can evaluate the information, performance can be done by that. Integrations to connect with the other external and internal systems. Reporting is Pega has a very rich reporting feature and case management just I showed it before. So Pega has that the logo design once and access anywhere. So that's if you like you can design in an application at once and the same application you can uh, see that in for mobile, cloud, laptop, desktop, anywhere. Okay. So there are different level of certification available. So most of the application actually like the initial level we can go for CPBA or CSA. CPBA is for business architect role and CSA is for uh, initially learning the fundamentals of the Pega. And after that uh, either you can go for CSA that is the UI uh, senior ar architect and there is one more certification is given for developer point of view, user interface specialist, UIS and Finally, there is a top level certification which we call as CLSA. That is the top level certification. Okay. 